Mel King is a community icon. Mel has uh, been a person who has been involved in just getting human beings in community to be better. So I'm Mel King and I'd like to introduce myself by saying I love here. Well, Mel is a strong leader in the city of Boston. He's always been consistently concerned about the people who have the least. He's one of my heroes in Boston. Mel has this wonderful and unique way of engaging people. I always noticed that he really talked to people one at a time. You really listen. I think that's the critical piece in the kind of organizing that make a big difference. Once you listen, you're valuing the humanity of the people and organizations you deal with. It's really understanding where they're coming from and what the needs are and their aspirations, and then using that to build bridges, to build coalitions, to build community. Community building, one gets to start from the family, the neighborhood, the institutions that you participate in. To give you an example of what its significance was, the church that I went to was called the Church of All Nations. And when you have that framework with 34, 35 different racial, ethnic, cultural groups, you have to take something from it that talks about what do you do to bring people together. It all came out of this genius of his to always look for ways of expanding opportunity and challenging people to get together. I, I feel that a lesson that, that Mel has really taught people is to stay strong in their pursuit of justice. The love of power builds fences. Power of love opens doors. That concept will be one of his greatest legacies to continue generation after generation. So for me, it's focusing on the power of love, which opens doors with the belief that all are deserving and we care. I suspect that Mel's legacy is, in addition to perseverance, it is to just make it clear to people that we have to love each other. You know, not every victory can be won in a day or a week or even a year. And maybe even recognize you're passing that responsibility on to the next generation, which I think is what Mel is doing right now. I, you have to have skills to do this work. And so you have to have an institute that understands what skills that they need to provide for the kind of organizing that is going on at any particular time, because that changes. So I think the Mel King Institute has really uh, created a niche in Massachusetts to provide opportunities for established professionals, communities, boards, and also up and coming, rising young people who are interested in the field of community development. And that's critical. It's preparing the next generation for the ongoing pursuit of justice in this city and elsewhere. One of my students at MIT taught me teamwork makes a dream work. And if we understand that and move on that basis, we're all set. We've got community development.